Hello, welcome to the 10 Bagger Challenge. Today is Monday, September 28th, 2009. My current account balance is $517. And I'm actually looking to short the Euro Yen in the 132 zone. So I'm going to put orders between 131.80 and 132.20 to short the Yen, the Euro Yen, and we'll see what happens. So just an update here, I put my four orders in between 131.82 and 132.22. So I think there's plenty of resistance in this point and uh, it should control price action overnight. So I'll keep you updated. Just an update here, we're getting a strong rally after the sell off. I think we're probably gonna break through to test 132 right now. Just an update here, I am changing my limit orders to 131.92, 132.15, and 132.45 from here up until this zone, so uh, then I can leave it overnight with no worries. Good morning, today is September 29th. I uh, just want to give you an update on my positions from last night. Unfortunately, the market only rallied up to 131.80, so I didn't get filled on any, any of my short positions. You can see we had a nice sell-off after that point, so that's unfortunate. So I'm going to get rid of those and just go from here see what I can do on my short-term trades this morning. Um, there's nothing particularly attractive at the moment, aside from the fact that if we get down to the 130 zone, I'm probably going to buy, as I still think we'll, we should hold above this level. So I'll keep you updated. Just an update here. If we can get back up to the 132 level, I will be shorting again. And I actually wouldn't be surprised at this point. We did get back up there. So if we get to 132.20, I'll be buying. If we get to 132, I'm sorry, if we get to 130.20, then I'll be buying. And if we get up to 132, I'll be shorting. Another update here. It uh, looks like the market wants to drop to the 130.50 level or lower. So uh, we'll see what happens if we get a breakthrough there. I'll keep you updated. Another update here. We're getting a sharp rally off the 130.75 level. And we have news coming out in two minutes, so if we get a spike up to 131.80 to 132, I'll probably start a short position. So I will keep you updated. I'm actually going to enter a short position right here. Got filled at 131.35. I'll add all the way up. Keep you updated. You can see here, the market's dropping on the numbers. I think I'm going to close out my position. I'll close out four of the lots for a profit. Took 13.4 pips, and I will put a stop at break even on the rest. You see the market's dropping quickly. Let's see what happens. I think I'm just going to close it out here. We got 30 pips for the rest, so that was about $10 in about a minute. And if we get to the 130, 20 zone, I'll, I'll buy. And I'll keep you updated. Another update here. If we do get down to the 130, 90 to 130, 80 zone, I'll buy in, uh, depending on whether the reaction is quick. So I'll keep you updated. We're actually retesting the highs from before the news, so I'm going to short in a little bit and keep you updated. Actually on second thought I'm probably just gonna wait for a rally up to the 132 level just to play it safe. As I've already taken a nice profit off the sell-off and no need to gamble so I'll just wait till 132. Another update here we're still getting a rally after that spike from the news. If we get to 3150 and break the high here I'll probably start shorting all the way up to 132 so I'll keep you updated. Another update here, we're getting close to breaking out above 131.40. And I think once that happens, we should rise up to 132. So I'll keep you updated. Let's see, we're breaking out here. I'm going to start shorting around 31.55 or higher. First entry short, 49.3.
to his resistance at 32, but I'll head all the way up, keep you updated. And on the one minute chart, you can see we're getting a little correction here, back down to a breakout point, and it gets back back down there, I will close out most of my position. Right here. Okay, I'm going to close out four lots on one more drop. Took 11.8 pips. Getting my stop to break even. Just an update here. I closed out my last lot in that position for about 13 pips profit at 31.35. I think the market could uh, now pop up to the 132 level, so if it does get there, I will be ready to short. And I'll keep you updated. Another update here we're at 131.55. And the market continues going up, so I'm going to short right here. I filled at 131.55, and I'll short all the way up to 132. And I'll keep you updated. Just an update here uh, the market's falling down nicely. You can see on the five minute chart. So I think I'm going to get ready to close out my position in a little bit when it comes back down. So I'll keep you updated. Update here, closing this up. Four out of the five lots. Took about 10.8 pips, and uh, I'm going to put a stop at break even for the rest. And uh, if it goes higher, I'll add more. Okay, I'm happy with this profit. So uh, here we go, it's going up again. I'm trying to close it out here. So, uh, let's see my summary here. Close positions. So I took, uh, let's see, I took $22 profit today on these trades, and I still plan on putting an entry order in the 132 zone in case we get a spike up there. So I'm going to close up, or finish off for right now, and uh, come back tomorrow for my next trades. Thank you for watching.